Four different emergency calls for the same Oxen Hill house. But it wasn't until one person died that officials realized what was really going on there. The house had a carbon monoxide leak, and now neighbors want to know why emergency officials didn't put two and two together after the second call. Brad Bell has the story. It all started Tuesday with a 911 call from this house for a man in his 70s with health problems not feeling well. He went via ambulance to a hospital. Wednesday, it was his wife's turn. Feeling sick, she called 911 and a different ambulance crew gave her a ride to the hospital. Later the same day, another ambulance crew went to the house on Wentworth Drive after a neighbor found another resident of the home, a man in his 50s with diabetes, dead in the house. And then yesterday, the same man and woman who got sick Tuesday and Wednesday were sick again. This time, firefighters detected high levels of carbon monoxide and found a disconnected furnace vent in the house. Neighbors wonder if it should have been caught sooner. It shouldn't took four times for them to catch the carbon dioxide escaping like that. A county spokesperson tells us when more than one person in a home is sick, they do look for CO, but that wasn't the case in the early calls. Fire department spokesman Mark Brady says the medics just didn't know. They had no idea of a relationship with these illnesses and death uh, to possible carbon monoxide exposure. Another incredible and sad fact about this strange series of events is that this home is just about a block and a half from the house where in April, five people died from carbon monoxide poisoning. The problem in that horrible incident was also a disconnected furnace vent. The best and only way to detect carbon monoxide in your home is to purchase and install a CO detector. As for the elderly couple, they have been released from the hospital, but they're now staying with a friend. In Oxon Hill, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.